This is New Cab News with Lauren Poland. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We start tonight with a scary story that could have ended up much worse. Vegreville RCMP investigated reports of a suicidal man driving east towards Lloyd Minster this morning. Police believe he was armed. Officers set up what they call a high risk traffic stop in order to catch the 37 year old. RCMP say the man tried coaxing officers into shooting him. It took half an hour before the man surrendered himself being taken to hospital as a precaution. There was no firearm found in his possession. Not seen for over a year. Cold Lake RCMP and St. Paul's Major Crime Section are asking for the public's assistance in finding a 45-year-old man. Dennis Leonard Cardinal has been missing since February 1st of last year. He's 5 foot 8 and 200 pounds. Anyone with information is asked to call the Cold Lake RCMP. How much is too much? An Alberta judge says the government should decide by passing a law limiting the number of drinks a person can be served at a bar. Mike Baden has more. Back in 2007, Ronald Joseph McCauley passed away in a Fort McMurray bar after consuming at least 20 ounces of hard liquor in under three hours. But putting in a law to regulate drinks could be tough. You know, it's very difficult for, you know, the government or a judge to, you know, regulate, you know, how much each individual can drink because people drink differently, you know, depending on your age or experience, you know. I think uh, the onus really is on the servers and the establishment to, uh, to, you know, control how much they serve. And some customers feel the same way. I'd say it's kind of hard to tell because not every person is the same. Uh, how much one person can handle compared to the other is always different. There's people who could have two drinks and be wasted and people who can have 30 drinks and not be wasted. So they're going to regulate it. I can't see that working out too well. If someone can't even stand, yeah, you should stop serving them. Magic says his staff are fully prepared to handle all customers. We're always reinforced that, uh, you know, look for the signs, obviously having how many drinks have they had, and if you know they're having a lot or they're having, you know, start taking some shooters and limit the amount of shooters they'll have. And, you know, so yeah, we have a, a good training program in place to make sure that they look for signs that people are having, having too much. Since 2010, anyone in Alberta who sells or serves alcohol must go through a program called ProServe. It's a training program that helps reduce overconsumption, it helps reduce chances of impaired driving, helps reduce underage drinking, uh, and also helps to reduce the potential for the risks of violent incidents to break out into a licensed establishment. And Cheers has been known to lend a helping hand. You know, we as an establishment support all means, and, and people know that come to Cheers that, uh, you know, if they're waiting for a cab and whatnot, and if they're thinking twice about driving, that we will we'll give them a ride. Mike Baden, New Cap News. It's day three of Wild Rose leader Danielle Smith's final push before the provincial election, and today she landed in St. Paul. Smith made her appearance at the St. Paul Curling Club this afternoon, and she believes Albertans are ready for a big change. A government that is spending out of control, blowing our savings, blowing our resource revenue, and now talking about increasing taxes, but doesn't want to have the conversation until after the election. I think that that is the kind of thing that has caused Albertans to wonder whether or not this party truly represents them anymore. Smith says she recognizes the major problems surrounding senior health care and says something needs to be done. We have a, a plan for how we would introduce a drug hardship benefit for low-income seniors. We also want to do something about power bills. We, we know that power bills, the increases that we've seen in the last couple of months, have particularly hit our fixed-income seniors the hardest. Smith's tour moves to central Alberta tomorrow. Meantime, Vermilion Lloydminster PC candidate Richard Starkey officially opened his campaign headquarters today. Starkey opened the Border City office with a short message. The goal of his campaign remains relatively simple. My calendar is filling up very, very quickly and that's just great. Um, I plan on being a very, very active candidate and I plan on being, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I'm not planning on having a whole lot of spare time between now and the 23rd. Although the campaign just kicked off, Starkey is expecting a tight race and tough competition. You know, other areas of concern that I've had on, on you know, that I've heard from people more recently 
on the doorsteps is, I mean, uh, the, you know, the, just the concern about honesty and integrity in government. And uh, that's, that's reasonable. I mean, people expect their elected officials to act with integrity and to act in a principled manner. And, you know, personally, I think that's one area that, uh, um, that I feel very comfortable with. Voters hit the polls April 23rd. Lloydminster has an array of shopping for visitors and residents, and with the city continuing to c expand, small businesses are doing better than ever. Carrie McCullough explains. The latest survey from the Canadian Federation of Independent Business has once again shown that Alberta's small businesses are the most successful in the country. We've definitely noticed a change in the air. Um, there's a lot of excitement this season for us and um, especially being part of the downtown community which is home to a lot of small businesses. Um, we just see the growth that's happening and people, um, you know, you're reading all kinds of articles about how people are more willing to support independent now than ever before. Opening an independent business can be a challenging and scary task, but in a city like Lloydminster, local businesses have been lucky to be embraced by such a supportive community. The community is so supportive. I was born and raised in Hillmon, so I've got lots of family here. It's just, yeah, I, f I feel like it's the best place for me to be doing this for sure. They just see the value in supporting local and supporting your neighbours and whatnot, and that it comes full circle. So. You definitely feel that in the air um, now versus last year this time. So it's exciting for us being downtown and being a small business for sure. The middle of winter is known for being the slowest time of year for business, but the community of Lloydminster embraces the small local businesses year round. We went into a really busy January and you know, it's slowed down for sure, but it's been consistent and it's been steady and we're so grateful as a new business that's been open only mere months. The downtown core has a slew of stores and services to choose from and business owners are confident that they can provide a different kind of experience to keep customers coming back. It's, it's fine to go to big centres and get what you need, but it's another thing altogether to come into a store and get an experience and get a sense of community and get to know one another. It's a totally different experience. So. Carrie McCullough, New Cap News. Gerard joins us now with a quick look at weather, and it was a windy one today. Yeah, windy, and we've got some cloud cover building up as the afternoon has gone along. It's holding some precipitation. Let's have a look at it mm -hmm. here, see what we're dealing with. Those clouds are hazy sunshine for the better part of it, not really blue sky sunshine day, but the winds have been gusting, sometimes getting into the 50s, approaching the 60s. That has been the story right across the region at the moment. We're seeing a buildup of that humidity accompanied with the cloud covers. Battleford's getting to 8 Celsius today day and those clouds are holding some precipitation in the form of rain. We've got the details coming up later in the cast.